Welcome. Today we are going to make a delicious milk bread with nuts and raisins in it. So nuts I have chosen are almonds and walnuts. You can try different types of nuts like um, Brazil nuts or hazelnuts or pistachios or even cashew nuts. Try different combinations and I promise you they will all taste nice. So first thing I'm going to do, I have got these peeled clean almonds which I'm going to put through my spice blender and I'm going to blend them until they are smaller pieces. They're not completely powdered. So there will be a texture in the almond. So when we are eating our bread, we can have this almondy texture taste in the background. So as you can see, I have ground my almonds and there's still a few pieces of almonds in there which are broken up into tiny pieces so that should be okay i'm taking 500 grams of white strong bread flour which i'm going to use for my baking in the flour i'm going to add salt on one side and yeast on the opposite side i'm also putting the almonds caster sugar and unsalted butter which I have softened up. I'm using a mixer today to do the mixing and the kneading so this is going to run for about 8 to 10 minutes on slow speed to start off with and medium speed and I'm adding some warm milk which is about 300 milliliter I have in there I might need a bit more might need a bit less depending on the consistency of the dough and I'm looking for a soft but not soggy dough in the end which is smooth and silky so my dough be kneading for about eight minutes and feels very soft and silky it's not soggy so i'm going to put some walnuts in it which i have literally broken down with my hand into smaller pieces i don't want to grind them into a mush so i'm going to put it in there so just going to mix them for about 30 seconds to a minute into my dough so here's our dough nice soft and smooth i'm going to put this into another bowl which i have lined with small amount of olive oil i'm going to leave in there to rise i'm going to cover it with a tea towel and we are going to check it out until it's twice the size if not more and I shall see you then. So my dough been rising for just over an hour. So let's have a look. You can see it's more than twice the size. I'm going to spread some flour on my worktop. Knock my dough out. And I'm going to keep folding it until all the air been knocked out. So I have got a bread tin which is about a kilogram or two pounds in size which I have lined with olive oil. I'm going to flatten out my dough, fold it in on each side, same on the top and bottom, turn it around so the joins are at the bottom. I'm going to put this into my bread tin. And this I'm going to leave in a plastic bag for another one hour or at least when it's twice the size it is at present. So I shall see you then. Make sure the top of the bag is not touching the dough otherwise it will stop it from rising properly. So my dough been rising for just over an hour, hour and five minutes or so. Just going to glaze this with some egg. I have preheated my oven to 190 degrees centigrade, which is a fan electric oven 
for the conversion of other types of oven I'll write in the text. On top of this, I'm going to sprinkle some sesame seed, generous amount. And this is going to bake for approximately 25 minutes. So here we are, our bread out of the oven. Looks pretty good and taste of the pudding isn't eating it so I let it cool down for maybe half an hour then we'll cut it and have a taste see what it tastes like okay let's cut the bread and have a taste let's check the consistency first looks nice and fluffy extremely light looks nice and airy in there okay let's try the taste raisins and some walnuts in there as well I love the lightness of the milk loaf and we have the depth of flavor in the background of the almonds slight sweetness of the sultanas and also the taste of the walnuts which comes in your mouth at the end of each bite really tastes nice you should try this bread really really nice i hope you like it and until next time i see you very soon thanks for watching